In this tutorial I'll show how to get this magnifying glass effect. It's quite basic so we, uh, we won't go into too much to great detail because I could have made the glass there appear to be more like glass but uh, it's showing the uh, outer, little bit of outer focus in the background so it's quite acceptable. So we'll, we'll close this off and we won't save. Well we'll add our image, we're going to background image we're going to work with. You could use a school photograph where you want to highlight somebody you, uh, you knew or yourself. Instead of just drawing a red circle around them you could use this type of effect. First we need to select our ellipse tool and we're going to check the rooks, the uh, knight's head there. Just move the circle just a little bit so. Now because the magnifying glass usually uh, makes things a lot clearer we'll need to uh, we'll unsharpen this or sharpen it up using the unsharp mask. Now we, we don't go too high because uh, that's about right 1.52 so we click OK and GIMP goes through and uh, sharpens our image. The next step we need to enlarge as though the magnifying glass is looking into it so we go to our scale tool and we click on the Im part of the image we're going to in scope uh, well it's already selected and we move the handles not too much we just don't go overboard it's about right now you've got the crosshairs in the center we just move that back to where as if you were just looking at the the, the uh, knight's head it's about right so we'll scale it and when you do something like that we need to move it just a bit a fraction for m further because there's a little bit of white showing from where we were. That's okay. Now GIMP gives you a floating selection when that happens, when you work within a, a selection. So we need to make it a layer. So we click on this small icon here and this creates the layer for us. Now the square around around this now is actually the, the uh, layer. The, the background is still transparent. If I turn this eye off here you can see that the, there's, that's the layer we're working on so it's very small. We, don't, we can get rid of all that when it's, uh, when it's finished. We click the eye back on. The next thing we need to do now is, is bring out an image of a, a magnifying glass. Now I got this one from the internet and now we, we load this as a layer, open as a layer, the magnifying glass. Uh, that's our magnifying glass. Now it's uh, got a, a white background so we need to uh, right click the top layer of the magnifying glass and add an alpha channel. That makes the, uh, the background when, when we remove it a transparency. So we I choose my uh, select by color tool it's because everything there is white and it makes it quite easy to select everything. I just click on the white area and it, it's done its job, it's selected everything. I just use the delete key on the keyboard and it's deleted everything. Now I go to select and select none. If I don't do that I can't see the size when I resize the uh, magnifying glass. I go to the resize scale tool once again and click on the, a, a little small layer and just enlarge it until you get it to the size of that background you just made. There's a crosshairs right in the center so you can move your magnifying glass over the top. That's pretty a good guess that one. So I'll hit scale and it scales it all for me. And there it is. Now all I do now is right click the top layer and come right down to the bottom and flatten the image and that's your job completed. Quite simple to do and it's, it can be used in photographs of uh, group people or anything like that so it's just an idea that you could use. So uh, uh, thank you for watching and uh, rate the video and visit my channel. You may, you'll find a link to a, uh, a website where this is all laid out in a printed format and PDF file.